Here we go. We're live. I'm going to stay live and, uh, for as long as we have bandwidth. You can see uh, city crews gathering uh, under the uh, banyans at uh, Thomas Square. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trucks, including a huge crane, uh, city personnel ready to see stuff here at uh, Occupy Honolulu. Let me back up here and get a shot. This is me. This is a Bill 54 seizure attempt. Uh, and if you're not uh, familiar with that, what it is is a way of criminalizing homelessness and free speech, what they do is they mark, they tag things for seizure and they come back 24 hours later and take stuff um, under the under the bill. So for instance, this uh, art installation, which was put up, uh, actually it wasn't here yesterday, so it was put up very recently, but with tagged material. So some of this stuff is tagged, do they take it or not? If not, they can take it at night. Um, most of the stuff that they tag is the public forum, uh, public forum material. Let me get, let me show you uh, some of the stuff they tag. For instance, this is the information desk. better world is possible. It takes some effort. All this stuff was gleaned from the roadside fairly recently because they keep seizing the public forum stuff. And this right here is a Bill 54 tag. Bill 54 tag. Meaning that uh, they will take stuff. Now you'll notice as I pan around no tents. Where are the tents, one may ask? Well, in order to avoid seizure, the tents are packed up and then laid out again at night. This is day 102 of the encampment. Since the law they're using, the ordinance requires um, property to be stored on public property for 24 hours, everything is put on wheels, including, as you can see, some of our people are on wheels, and we take everything over onto private property, we rotate it out, we have a adopt-a-tent program, so the only thing really at risk are the... Um, public forum uh, material and here we can I'm gonna here we can see the uh, horses coming up here and it's probably a good time to introduce our freedom furniture program our freedom furniture program works this way there are a lot of people that support Occupy Honolulu but can't make it down to the encampment you can support the encampment by donating some furniture to, uh, well, I'll continue that later. I'm going to, we'll follow along here to document the document the process. That would be uh, Trish Morikawa of the city. I'm going to. Let me stay out of your way here. Now what she has is a record of the property and photographs. You can see taking a freedom chair. Now let me zoom in on, on this identifying tag. And this is what we call a Bill 54 tag. The 
art installation is a hazard while the one going up across the street at the Academy of Arts is a work of art. So it's, it's a bourgeois definition of, of what art is, but we won't get into that at the moment. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people here. We see uh, people in Aloha shirts are police officers. There would be public affairs officers. There's a differentiation between the orange. A lot of the stuff wasn't here yesterday. Of course, we have photographic records. If you're watching this, of course, you can donate furniture to the public forum. Bring it down here. When it gets tagged, we'll let you know, and you can pick it up. The tag will show that you support the freedom of speech. They have uh, also people from the fire department, I assume, to help them harass uh, Occupy Honolulu with hazard kind of... Uh, Warnings, although, as you can see, this is a clean encampment. We have a lot of uh, documentation. I'm sorry, they are police. I thought it was fire department. They're not. The key here is uh, this has the record of the tags and the photographs. Here's a here is the sign. Kind of a statement of the obvious. I'm trying to count the number of people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, eight Maybe 25, 30 people. But they're taking it anyways because they're not I'm not sure how they can tell one chair from the other without a tag on it. People have been rotating out the uh, material. There's a constant need for forum furniture.